uh, yesterday evening and this morning. So I am ready, Mr. Speaker, to answer the three questions so that if I have some bit of time remaining, then I can be able to catch up with my program <coughs> in Kiricho later in the day. So, uh, Mr. Speaker, this is my reply to question number 47. Distinguished Senator for Kirinyaga County. Uh, Mr. Speaker, let me say that the Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock Development, in collaboration with the relevant state agencies and the county governments, has formed a multi agency team whose mandate is to collect geolocation on geocoordinates for all the coffee growing farms, estates, and coffee cooperatives at the three counties. And the multi agency uh, team, Mr. Speaker, comprises of Kenya Forest Service, Kenya uh, Wildlife Research and Training Institute, Kenya Water Towers Agency, Kenya, <coughs> uh, uh, Kenya Water Tower Agency. And this, Mr. Speaker, is to provide secondary data on while protected areas and conservancies and water towers, respectively. And the Directorate of Remote Survey and Resource Sensing will avail remotely sensed data and shape files that will be necessary for the for baseline. The Regional Center for Mapping of Resources and Government is coordinating the compilation of existing geographic vector data and Kenya Space Agency for satellite images. The multi agency team will deploy field ground surveys to collect the GPS coordinates using GPS gadgets, satellite image, interpretation, and analysis to determine the coverage of coffee farm estates in the targeted counties. And the Ministry of Agriculture, through the Agricultural Fund Authority, will establish and operationalize the ICT data center for receiving and transmitting data on coffee production through the coffee directorate, produce established coffee database that will not only address the EU market demands, but enhance management of the coffee subsector in Kenya. And any other information that will be collected, collected will include and not limited to cover <coughs> forest cover marking to determine the probable level of encroachment by coffee farmers to provide precautionary measures to avert the EU market. <coughs> question number, um, but, uh, question B, uh, I think the Senator wants to know which institution is leading these efforts on uh, the collection of the, uh, the geolocation coordinates of the coffee producing palms. And uh, I want to say that the Ministry, uh, of course, through uh, the Agricultural Food Authority and the Coffee Directorate is the leader in these efforts of geolocation companies of coffee farms as required by the EU regulations. Question C, the speaker, is uh, on whether uh, 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 which government institution is again responsible for managing the geolocation information. And I also want to say that, that uh, the geospatial data on coffee shall be used by coffee directorate for his of data management, storage, retrieval, and dissemination. And there shall be continuous update of the database through periodic ground truthing. And where need be, the geon data collected will be assessed by the authorized parties to inform generations of due diligence statements for coffee, for, for coffee exports to the EU markets. And finally, question number D is the location for maintaining a comprehensive and accessible database of the geolocation data. Currently, there is no budget allocation to, for maintenance of a comprehensive and accessible database for the geolocation data on land and a coffee production. But however, 
uh, the Office of the Cabinet Secretary <coughs> Livestock, a National Treasury and Economic a CS Cooperatives, Micro, Small and Enterprise, MSMEs Development, the Foreign Minister of Foreign and Diaspora Affairs, and the Attorney General have developed a cabinet memo to be presented to the next cabinet on the EU regulation requirements. And this memo is projected to approve cabinet on the compliance requirements of the European Union regulations on and forest degradation on Kenyan coffee access to the EU markets. And this memo seeks uh, cabinet approval for budgetary allocation towards the collection of NGO data base for all coffee growers, coffee farm cooperatives, estates, processing factories in Kenya to facilitate pre preparation of due diligence statements. The memo is now, I've already signed this memo out, Mr. Speaker, and is now going and as we sit here he's at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Dias Foreign and, and Diaspora Affairs for signing before submission for <coughs> to the cabinet for approval. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, thank you. Uh, Senator Murango, you have an opportunity to ask two supplementary questions. If you have them. If not, then you 